Hey ladies, welcome to an Easter vlog. Honestly, growing up, we didn't really celebrate Easter. My mom didn't do the whole egg situation until my sisters, you know, shout out to my sister. <laughs> so anyways, we're finally starting tradition. So we just start with tonight, the night before Easter. We are gonna be making some pizzas, hopefully in the shape of a bunny. But if the kids don't want the bunny shape, then obviously they can make their own shape. Anyways, I have a little setup outside here. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit. Everyone's getting antsy, so let's just go ahead and start, you know, the funsies. Stick to funsies, stick to funsies. Okay, so we got the setup going, all the pizza doughs, some mozzarella. What the? Give this to me right now. Anyways, I have my child's up there on the roof being crazy. Okay, ready? Ooh. Okay, baby, it's pizza making time. Pizza making time. Here's how it's looking. It's done. It's the zones. Look at them. <laughs> done. These are everyone's pizzas going on the grill. This little bunny is mine, that bunny is mine, and this little roll is mine. The rest, these are my boys. And these are my sisters. My other sister still working on her, so this is it. <laughs> hey, cheese mozos. Let's see what I packed my kids for this Easter holiday season. Okay, we're gonna start off with my kids' Easter baskets, like my little kids, because I feel like it's the easiest. So for my youngest kid, I got him this little Easter basket from the thrift store for only $3. I even have a tag on it. So yep. Oh, and it was 50% off, so $1.50. And then this is the most expensive Easter basket I've ever bought in. 20 buckaroos, which made me start thrifting them or I'll show you my next one. But this one was super expensive, but my son will use it until he's at least seven. Okay, so he's currently about to be four. So there's that for my younger kids. And then for my oldest kid, I got him this Easter bag. And I also got an extra one just in case. But I got these from um, Cutie and they were only $1.75, which I love these so super, super much. Anyway, so those are the Easter baskets. I got things from multiple stores. This is all collectively. So I got a few things from Dollar General and I just have this bag. Literally, I like to buy things that come in packs so I can have one for every kid. You see how this comes in packs so I can have one for every kid. And just, you know, that's, that's the MO, getting packs so we can have multiples. So let me sort everything out really, really quickly, and then let's get started, okay? Hmm. Okay, first step is stuffing. So I just got two packs of stuffing for two buckaroos each. I feel like that's expensive. I would have much preferred getting them at the Dollar Tree, but I do like how these are paper instead of plastic, so that's good news. I'm gonna split, split it in half, because I don't think it needs a whole thing in here. Yeah, you see? Just like a quarter is enough. It's already sticking out. I'm gonna put the rest in this one because this one's a little bit bigger. You see? Stuff it up. And then I'll save this one for my time. Well, I guess I'll do it right now. Let me do that really quickly. Put it in the back, put it in the back. Put it in the back, put it in the back. You see? Put it in the back. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add one of these in every single one of the things. It's just a bubble gum. So I'm just going to add one of these into every one. The basket. And I'm not about making this look cute. I honestly wanted to look like it was thrown. Then I'm going to grab these eggs. I'm going to do one egg in each basket. So... One egg. Now we're gonna open these. I'm gonna add one carrot in each one. I don't really like them to have too much candy. So this is a spoiler. This little dino kit is from my oldest son, so I'm gonna stick that in there. And then for my youngest child, I got him these shorts. Or my middle child. So I'm going to put them in his basket. Just throw it in here. 
<laughs> then I got two of these, so which of it? One in each basket. And then for my oldest child, I got him these because he likes these better. Buckaroo. For my youngest, I got him this. For my oldest, I got him this. bag like that. Actually, I think we should trade. This child will... Let me do some change. This child will get the food. This child will get the bag. Hold on. Okay, honestly, I got a bit overwhelmed with the mess, so I just had to, like, do the basket. So let's just start with my youngest child, okay? So he got the dinosaur basket. I guess it's this way. And in here, he has a little food set, a little car. He's got a little thing to ride on, a little stuffy, a bunch of snacks like candies and stuff in here some erasers and i'm gonna throw some jelly beans in here as well but overall it's pretty stock let me make it look pretty again hold on okay i took the food out of the packaging and i kind of just threw it in there so it'll be kind of like a little hunt it's super stuffed in there so that's what i like and that is it for his little basket the next man over oh, here it looks super empty because this is the biggest basket ever and barely any freaking stuffing down there but he's got a little bat he's got some of these little thingies what are these called i'm not even sure little eggies he's got a pair of shorts a little thing to scratch some candy down there some erasers some more candy so as y'all can see it's like stuff down there but you can barely you can barely tell but Definitely stuffed the roos. So let me throw everything back in here. Okay, and here's my next man. I don't really want to pull everything out, but he's got some Legos. He's got this little thingy. I should probably pull it out of the package. Yeah, I'll probably pull it out of the package. And just some other stuff in here. And I always packed my niece and my sister something. This year is super tiny. I just realized it. But I got a little scratch off thing. They got a little mini eraser. A little carrot with candy. And some bubble gum. So super simple. I might stuff it with some of that stuffing to make it a little bit more. But yeah, that is it. Oh, this is my husband's also. This is like super big and extravaganza. I'm also going to add his ammo in here that he just got. But I didn't show it. Anyways. That is it. Also, I made a bag for myself because, you know, can't forget about yourself. And that's it, y'all. Ladies, y'all won't believe I did not freaking vlog Easter day. I just, I don't know. The morning was hectic. My, kid, my kids were literally crying all morning. My brothers were here. They were being serious. My sisters were being a little brats. So it was just all, you know, bad vibes. But either way, I got an Easter basket yesterday and uh, I wish I would have showed you guys because my husband literally went all out. I got a whole bunch of new makeup. I don't know, since my birthday, I've just been buying makeup, getting makeup. I don't know. I went through this whole not wearing makeup phase and now I'm like in my makeup era again. So I got a few things. Um, so I just wanted to play with them, kind of finish off this vlog. So let's just get right into it. Y'all know I got that new foundation a few days not a few days ago, but a few vlogs back. I've tried it once, Mom. haven't tried it since. So Mom. bless you, honey, bless you. Me too. You're welcome. And my husband got me some new brushes, so I'm super excited about that. So let's just try it. Hi, mama! Tan rápido! Ni nos dice tiempo para arreglarnos. Honestly, my kids have been needing, so I haven't really been vlogging the fast food steps. I moved on to this. I wanted to try it because it's brand freaking new, but I cannot open it for the freaking life of me. Not sure if it just because I just put moisturizer on or if this is literally just freaking stuck. I'm trying my hardest. Like, I do not care if this flings all over the place. I just want to try it. Ugh. 
I literally can't open it. Ugh, I'm so upset. So we're gonna pass on that, I guess, today. Gonna move on to this blush. It's like a purple, peachy, plum kind of blush. I'm super excited because I heard that plum blushes are supposed to be super good on darker skin girls and baby can we share go to the floor you have all yours on the floor you got a ghost on the floor my mom came home from the store and bought me kids surprises and now they're going crazy anyway so this is revlon and the shade very berry puppies Oh my god, I thought it's pigmented, girl. My mom got it open. I guess it's like a pill bottle. You know how when you press it down and then pull it? So yeah, now we know. Shout out to the mothers. It's got a little... I'm just bad at opening packages. Anyways, we're gonna shake this powder out a little bit. Oh, she dark. She really dark. I kind of feel like I should put it in more area right here. Oh yeah. You see how dark she is? This is definitely not my skin tone. Do you see that? Yeah, she's not my skin tone. I wonder how it would look if I put it underneath. I don't want to fuck with it too much though. Kind of like it though because the blondes are, are really. I'm gonna continue to use it. I'm going out right now, so I don't want to put it underneath my eyes and then look like an Oompa Loompa, especially since I don't feel like it's in my shade. But this right here kind of looks like my shade, right? Anyways. Don't throw it, baby! Come do your makeup with mommy! I really want to try a new lipstick. Should I try this one or should I try this one? I feel like I'm already going like super pink with my blush, so I don't want to go super pink with the lip. So I'm going to do this brown lipstick. And it's in the shade, what shade is this? Eternally Tan. This looks sparkly, so I'm hoping it's not sparkly. Uh, let's just pull it out. And I don't have a lip liner or anything like that, so. Right off the bat, I really like how it's just like a basic brown, basic tan. There's no like pink undertones or red undertones. It's just a brown. I really like that. It comes with a gloss. I really, really wonder if it's going to be like a plumping gloss, if it's going to be a sticky gloss. Sometimes glosses are hit and miss. I can already tell it's like a sticky kind of gloss. I'm just going to put it right here in the middle and then whatever gets on top or the side is fine. Just in the middle. A little glossy effect. Hi, honey. Finally, you leave your brother alone. And what else should we try that's new? Let's see. Honestly, I'm going to do mascara, but I don't want to open. You want to go up? I don't want to open a new mascara because I just have so many to choose from already. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Yay, I love you. I do, I do my makeup. You want to do your makeup? How about mommy does your hair? How about we do your hair? Okay. Can you stand right here? Yeah. Good job. How about we get you in this one that's higher? Oh, what is that call on you? I don't know who it belongs to. That belongs to Pequena Abuelo. Abuelo. Here's Sally. Got my mom. Okay. You want me to go down the slide? 
Come back up, Asiano. Let's go up the slide. Where? How the? No, that's your bottom of the slide. I know. I'm gonna walk up it. That's how mommy get up there. You ready? Let's see how fast it takes me. You ready, Asiano? What is it? Go. What? Slower. I found you! I found! I see you from there. 